Welcome to the DIY series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltiers, where I show you step-by-step step how you can build your own food truck. On all the previous videos to these, I take you step-by-step, step, but now they're more of a summary and I answer a lot of Q&As. I did receive an email over the weekend that talked about the plumbing. They actually requested to see if I could do their plumbing for them. However, I don't usually build out trailers beyond the ones that you see here on YouTube and help you guys out build, which are my own trailers. This is right here was my first trailer that I ever built, which is rolling burritos. And what I wanna show you is almost like a little field trip and a walkthrough of my plumbing. That way if you have any questions when it comes to plumbing, uh, hopefully this video can cover a lot of those details that maybe I've missed on previous videos. So again, I'm Frank Baltierez and I show you how to build food trucks from scratch. I also have an ebook that comes with a spreadsheet. A lot of people ask and request details about it. All it is, is pretty much a summary of all these videos almost like in a text form and on some of them they have private links to videos where i go shopping at home depot where i'm going to show you some of the plumbing stuff that i have here because i do not have links oh man this door's closing it scared me i do not have links for these products that you're about to see right here which is inch and a half pvc so i take you with me across my shoulder to home depot and then you're able to see what i buy and roughly about how much it'll cost but the spreadsheet it's a good gauge because I break down like this sink right here, where I bought it from, how much it cost, um, the tanks, uh, the water pump, the hand sink that you see here, all those little products, I put them in a spreadsheet so it can make it, so it makes it easy for you to find them. But here we go. So this is my advanced Tapco three compartment sink. The part number, because I've used it so many times, is FE3 10 14 15 RL. So 10, 14 is kind of the size of the tanks. 15 RL means that it has a drain board on the right and the left, which measures 15 inches. So this drain board on the right and the left side measures 15 inches, why, which is why the number uh, 15 RL. Again, all these are linked in, I'll link them in the description, and I will also put them in the spreadsheet. So I try to make it easy for all you, if, uh, for all you to find. Uh, you can find every single link that I put in the spreadsheet on all my videos, but they're all kind of spread out. The spreadsheet just puts it in a very central location. But once again, here we are on the front, which uh, your health department usually would require you to have, which is a three compartment sink or a hand sink. Sometimes a hand sink can be part of the three compartment, depends on your um, health department. It just depends on what they require. Make sure that you follow your county guidelines and also your city guidelines. That way you have no issues Sorry, that way you have no issues because my rules in my county are most likely different or very similar to the ones that you have. This right here, just so you guys, if you guys have a question, is a speed rail. This right, this right here is a dish rack where I hang, obviously, my little spatulas and things like that. But we walk down here. Again, this is my three compartment sink. Up top right here, I put a cutting board because it's really good for storage. Down here, as you can see, oh my gosh, I have a... I don't have any P-traps. A lot of people give me a hard time about P-traps. I actually asked a commercial plumber, a licensed commercial plumber, because I'm not a licensed plumber. And I asked him, is this the right way to do a three compartment sink? He said, yes, you do not need a P-trap when it comes to three compartment sinks. That's what a licensed professional plumber told me. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but that's what they told me and that's what I'm going by. And Domino's Pizza has it exactly like this. So if they are a billion dollar company, I will copy what they do uh, happily. These are my two tanks. Again, this door's closing. Um, these are my two tanks from Class A Customs that I will link in the description as well. Make sure that you check with your county so you can know the sizes that they require. Underneath, I'm gonna show you the drains, how you dump them out. But this is pretty much it. The three compartment sink comes with the strainers. And then all we do is add these T's right here. Again, all these little videos of where I buy these parts, I have them in my ebook. So you have a little elbow, you have a Y, a Y, and then it comes right here to a, um, a trap. Uh, a, oh my gosh, what's the name of this word? So nothing comes back. Um, it's, used, it's, it's made for uh, water, so it doesn't splash back in. And then the, three, the, the tanks come with four holes, two one and a half inch and two half inch. One of them is for venting, one of them is for filling. And then the other one on the waste tank, you just plug it up, it just has a little plug. Uh, this one is, I always get this question is how do you vent the gray tank because that's the bigger one. This is how I did my first tank. Uh, usually I don't do it like this anymore. What I do is I take from right here on the top, on the vent and the half inch, 
I go and I do like a little chimney almost. So I take a 90, a PEX 90, and then I do like a, a tube up top just so I can have a vent. That's usually what I do. So if you guys see this, this is not what I've done anymore. This is just how I left this one because it really hasn't given me any issues. But I liked how it is the other way. Right here you have your PEX lines, which is hot water and cold water. Then you have your water pump. And then over here we have our uh, water tank, sorry, our water heater that heats up our water, obviously. But what we do is, I'm going to show you outside how it starts, but the fill valve comes right here to the fresh water tank. And then from right here on the PEX lines, it goes to the water pump which the water pump does this thing, goes to the water heater if you need hot water. And then obviously you just open up your valves, kind of like you would have in your house. It's literally no different than what you would have in your house, but that's kind of how it looks in the inside and the front. The hand sink, easy peasy stuff. Let me show you outside and then we'll wrap it up. So right here is where it all starts. This is a fill valve. You can put your garden hose in here. This is a zero gravity or anti, you know, I guess gravity fill. It's called gravity fill. Zero gravity used to be a nightclub out here in DuPage County but this is a gravity fill valve for your water. And then that goes into that tank. And then down here, I have two spigots right here. These are made by Valterra. These are uh, gate valves. And down here where you see my hand, my hand is going up here into here, right up top. And this opens and closes. Right now, since it's winter, I have my tanks empty, but this opens and closes. You can dump your tanks out just like that. Pretty easy stuff. And that's how you do your, your plumbing. It's pretty straightforward. You do your gravity fill valve. I bought this one from Class A Customs or you can find it on Amazon. I do have Amazon paid affiliate links that I'll put in the description as well as the spreadsheet. But if you guys have any questions, I'm Frank Baltieres and you can drop all your comments and questions here in the description because I answer each and every one myself. And sometimes as you see right here, I do a Q&A answer and I try to answer it with more detail that way it helps you out when you're building out your food truck. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.